Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about integration by substitution. And by the way, this video is part 2 of our series of our topic regarding integration by substitution. Kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung part 1 natin, nasa description box natin yung ating link. So, pasensya na kung ngayon lang ulit nakapag-upload ng video because medyo busy sa school, sa trabaho, pero... I hope na ma-appreciate yung video natin. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have here example number 1, wherein we are given the integral of 3x squared times x cubed plus 4 raised to 5 dx. So sa last video natin, tinuro ko sa inyo kung paano piliin which function will be used to represent by x, or by u. So, in this example, I will let u be equal to x cubed plus 4. Because when we tried to get the, integra uh, the der derivative of x cubed plus 4, it will give you this function, 3x squared. So, kunin natin yung derivative nito. This is du is equal to 3x squared, remember, and then dx. So as you can see, we're ready to use the substitution method wherein ito, ito yung magiging u, etong, etong magiging u mo, ito ngayon ay magiging du. So start tayo. Okay? So we have here the integral of u raised to 5. Again, this is your u. So raised to 5. And then yung, d, yung 3x squared dx natin will be represented by du. So it's simply the integral of u raised to 5 du. And then next up natin is to perform the integration in which the integral of u raised to 5 is simply u raised to 5 plus 1 over, tandaan na, kung ano yung ginawa niya sa numerator, ganun din yung magiging denominator, yung exponent ng numerator nyo, ganun din yung mangyayari sa denominator nyo. If that is 5 plus 1, that will give you 5 plus 1. And then remember, lagi kayo meron ditong plus C. Okay? So simplifying this, this will give us U raised to 6 over 6. plus c and pwede natin itong extract bilang 1 over 6 u raised to 6 plus c and since tapos tayo sa integral ng u raised to 6 or ng u pwede natin ibalik ulit yung dating value ng u in which it will become 1 over 6 times t raised, sorry, x raised to 3 plus 4 raised to 6 plus c. Ito na ngayon yung integral ng ating example number 1. So I hope na, na, na review nyo uli or na remember nyo uli how to get or how to use integration by substitution. So I still have 3 more examples so stay tuned lang. Now, for example number 2, we are given the integral of the square root of 4x minus 5 dx. So, ako, kung ako gagawa nito, I will try to express first this radical into exponential form. So, it will become the square root of 4x minus 5 raised to 1 half and then dx. And after that, let us let you be equal to 4x minus 5. So, si u natin is equal to 4x minus 5. And then, the derivative of 4x minus 5, that will become du, is equal to 4. 4 na lang siya. And then, dx. And going back with this, kung mapansin nyo, wala naman tayong 4dx para ipalitan siya ni du. So, we will divide both sides of the equation by 4. So we can have du 
over 4 is equal to dx. Kasi dx lang meron tayo. So, going back with this given, we can start the integral. Since we're done with the u and the integral of du, punta natin to the integral of 4x minus 5 raised to 2. Ito na yung u natin. So, it will become u raised to 1 half times your dx. Yung dx mo rito is equal to du over 4. We're in. Pwede natin itong extract kasi ang du over 4 is also equivalent to 1 fourth times du. So, pwede natin gawin yan. So, we can have this as 1 fourth the integral of u raised to 1 half du. So, ngayon, pwede tayo mag-start ng kunin yung derivative ng u. So, it will become 1 fourth the integral of this is equivalent to u raised to 1 half plus 1 over 1 half plus 1. So, dito, yung 1 half plus 1 natin, kung hindi kayo masyado magaling sa fraction, since ang denominator natin ay 2, you can express 1 as 2 over 2 because 2 over 2 is equal to 1 in which parehas na yung kanilang denominator and that will give you 3 over 2. So, ito ay magiging plus C, sorry. Ayusin na natin na counting solution natin para mas madali nyo mabasa. So, you have 1 fourth times u raised to 1 half plus 1 over 1 half plus 1. And again, this is plus c. Yung ating 1 half plus 1 is equivalent to 3 over 2. So, this will become 1 over 4 times u raised to 3 over 2 over 3 over 2. So, ngayon, para masimplify natin itong dalawang fraction na to, ang gagawin natin is we will flip or get the reciprocal of 3 over 2. Baba lang natin ng konti. This will become 1 over 4 times yung reciprocal ng 3 over 2, that is 2 over 3 times u raised to 3 over 2 plus c. So, kayo malilito ha. Ito nangyari, yung 3 over 2 natin, kinuha natin yung reciprocal niya and it became 3, at uh, sorry, 2 over 3. So, mumultiply natin sila, pero pwede natin cancel out ito. Itong 2, sa so form, magiging 2 na lang siya. So, it will become 1 over 6 because 2 times 3, ito 2 times 3 natin, u raised to 3 over 2 plus c. And since tapos na tayo sa integral, balikan natin yung, yung value ng ating u which is 4x minus 5. So we can substitute that in our u here. So this will become 1 over 6 times yung ating u which is 4x minus 5 4x minus 5 raised to 3 over 2 plus c. So, pwede na maging sagot natin. Pero kung gusto nyo ibalik ito bilang radical, pwede rin naman. Or pwede siya magiging 1 over 6 times the square root of 4x minus 5 raised to 3 plus c. Parehas lang sila. Itong isa kasi ay naka-exponential, ito naman ay naka-radical form. So, let's... Now, for item number 3 naman, we are given the integral of cosine 2x plus 1 dx. So, basically, we will let this function 2x plus 1, we will let u be equal to 2x plus 1. So, getting the derivative of 2x plus 1, it will give you du is equal to 2 dx. And remember, wala tayo rito 2 dx. So, we need to divide both sides by 2 para maging dx na lang tong part na to. Cancel out 2. So, you can have du over 2 
is equal to dx. Right after this, we are ready for the substitution. So, punta na natin to. Ito, itong ating cosine, mariretain siya. Pero itong 2x plus 1 ay magiging u. Tapos yung dx natin, it will become du over 2. So, let's start substituting it. So, integral of cosine, this will become u. Again, tinan parenthesis. And then yung dx natin, times du over 2. Okay? So, remember, kailangan, na natin, kailangan muna natin extract yung 1 half dito. Because again, du over 2 is equivalent to 1 half du. So, ilabas muna natin yung constant natin. You have 1 half the integral of cosine u and then you have du. Tapos, pwede tayo mag-start ng integral, integration natin. Remember that the integral of cosine u is sine. Okay? Sine. So, we have now 1 half sine u plus c. Huwag kakalimutan ng plus c. Again, the integral of this is this, sine u. Okay? So, ngayon, since tapos tayo sa integration, we can go back with the value of u, which is 2x plus 1, and substitute that 2x plus 1 to this. So, meron tayo ngayong 1 half sine 2x plus 1 plus c. Ito na mismo yung sagot natin for item number 3. Diba? It seems na mahirap lang siya kasi nakita nyo, diba, trigo function agad. Pero hindi siya. Ang gawin nyo lang is step-by-step -step process nyo nang gagawin kasi hindi naman kailangan sobrang galing sa, ma sa mathematics para matutunan may magandang klaseng topic. Okay? So let's move on with item number 4. For item number 4, it's quite complicated. Pero syempre, kaya-kaya natin yan. For item number 4, we're given the integral of sine x raised to 9 cosine x dx. So, isipin mo yun, sir, anong function yung gagamitin natin? So, ako, ba sabi ko sa inyo, ang ginagamit ko ay yung mas complicated function. Yun yung gagamitin ko bilang u. And that is sine. Okay? So, we will do here is that we will let u be equal to sine x. Huwag nyo isama yung, ano, yung exponent ng 9. Sine x lang tayo. And then, the derivative of sine function is none other than cosine. So, we have here cosine x dx. And as you can see, meron tayong cosine dx dito. We're in. Since meron tayong ganyan, we can get or we can go straight to substitution na. Pwede na tayong mag-substitute. So, ito, remember ha, itong function na to is your u. Ito naman ang yung magiging du. So, by substitution, it will become the integral of u raised to 9. Again, yung sine x natin naging u, tapos raised to 9. And then, yung cosine x dx natin is equivalent to your du. Okay? And then, getting the integral of it, ang gagawin natin is mag-add tayo ng 1, u raised to 9 plus 1, lagi naman nangyayari yan, over 9 plus 1 then sa denominator, syempre, kunin mo, lagyan mo ng plus c. So, it will become u raised to 10 over 10 plus c. So, i-extract na lang natin yung 1 over 10. So, it will become u raised to 10 at meron tayo ditong 1 over 10 plus c. And going back to our u, yung u natin is sine x. So we can substitute here. It will become 1 over 10 sine x raised to 10 plus c. Ito na yung mismo sagot natin for item number 4. Diba? Uh, mukha lang siya may hirap kasi diba trigo function isa kasi sa mga fear ng mga bata or ng mga sudyante ay yung trigo function 
And I hope na for these examples, ay nakatulong ako sa inyo na maintindihan masyad, lalo ang integration by substitution. And I promise that I will help you or I will always help you with your studies in integration. So ang next natin, it's either integration by parts or integration ng trigo function. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Marami-marami salamat. Bye-bye. Fighting lang, guys.